First of all, let's talk about uh, the potential developments today. New Prime Minister in the offing, first of all. Yes, so the way that this works, and this is what we saw when Saad Hadidi resigned at the end of last year, is that when uh, a government resigns, when a prime minister resigns, there doesn't need to be a new election. The existing parliament goes back and chooses uh, a new prime minister because the only time the Lebanese people vote is for their parliament. Uh, and what's going to happen is that the different parliamentary blocks, those sectarian blocks, now have to consult with President Michel Aoun, and they each tell him who they've chosen uh, as their pick for prime minister. Now, the prime minister has to be a Sunni Muslim, which, of course, makes things more difficult in terms of finding a candidate. But this time round, things do seem to have moved faster. It took two months to nominate Hassan Diab, the last prime minister. And what's a bit different here is that last time he was chosen, Hassan Diab, by the two main power blocks at the moment in parliament, uh, who are, of course, the Hezbollah and Al Shia alliance and the FPM. Uh, which is the Christian party that President Aung comes from. But he wasn't backed by the Sunni power blocs. This time yesterday, uh, the previous prime, Sunni prime ministers came out and said that they chose Mustafa Adib, and it's also rumoured uh, that Hezbollah and Amal and the FPM will choose Mustafa Adib as well. So he at least has a more united bloc from both sides of the parliament behind him, which may allow him to be a bit more successful. Now, his background is very similar to that of Hassan Diab. There was actually a meme going around on social media last night, which split their two faces and made them into the same person. And of course, his surname is an anagram of Diab, Adib. Uh, so many saying he's cut from the same cloth. He's also an academic, which is an effort, of course, to show that they're moving towards a technocratic merit-based style of government. He has, of course, been the ambassador to Germany for a long time. So suspicion that he's good at dealing with international politicians, which is very important at the moment with all the aid and hope for support pouring into the country. Uh, and he also has a lot of experience with electricity. Electoral law reform, sorry, which many people are calling for uh, in terms of trying to change the way that governments are selected in this country. Lenda, you hinted at it already there. What um, would you gauge then is the mood on the street to this? How are people reacting? Well, the mood, as I said, almost exactly when he was, uh, when this was announced yesterday, this was a suspected pick uh, among protesters, at least, and those standing against the government, which is a huge number of people at the moment after that explosion uh, a few weeks ago, was one of resignation. This is just the same old kind of person, and this is going to continue. Uh, there was a group yesterday of activists and civil society organizations that said, we are now going to move forward with trying to find ways to fix the country ourselves. And that comes from uh, efforts over the last few weeks where we've seen all these volunteers on the street themselves distributing aid, uh, cleaning up houses and businesses and saying the government has nothing to do with this. Now, of course, everybody is looking ahead to President Macron's visit. He arrives tonight and it's telling that tomorrow uh, in, in his schedule, first he will meet with Feirouz, who is probably the most uniting figure in Lebanon, a singer beloved by everybody. Uh, and then he will plant a cedar tree and then he will tour the port, the blast site and what's been done there before he meets with politicians. So he's making it very clear that he's putting the people and touring the country here first before politics. And many people on the streets who've been protesting, hoping that he will come and speak directly to them and make some commitment that international uh, communities will work directly with the Lebanese people on the ground rather than going through a government that many people here now feel is illegitimate.